What kind of blocks do you like? Do you like softy? Perfect. Want two? Okay. Perfect. Awesome. So start on your backs. Let's uh, go Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet come together. Knees come apart. You can have one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Do you want to practice? Feel your lower back spread across the mat. If your eyes can't close, that's fine. Just pick a spot to kind of zone out on. Yeah. Ah, you made it. Friday morning, I think. <laughs> You've already been to Home Depot. <laughs> oh, I need you. A Home Depot can do that to you. Yeah. Don't go to Lowe's. <laughs> Exhale all this crap out. Mm -hmm. So nothing to do, nowhere to go, just to be present for yourself this morning here on the mat. You do what you can. Every inhale followed by every exhale actually is an opportunity to clear space for yourself. I always see the practice as a new opportunity to start over. Yeah, a couple more. Good. Let's uh, go ahead and extend the left leg forward, hug the right knee towards the chest, give it a good little squeeze, and then just take it over to the left for a little supine twist. Your right hand can go behind your head like you're on a beach raft or a pool raft, and use your left hand to encourage the right thigh to kind of bring, bring it a little closer to the floor. Feel a nice subtle stretch through that low back, through the piriformis, through the hip. Good, come up to center, relax the right leg out. Just give the left leg a little generous squeeze, kind of lubricating the hip. And then the left leg goes over to the right. I like to use the right hand to encourage the left thigh to drop the left hand behind your head, like that little pull, pull wrap. Good, take another big breath in, come up to center, bend both your legs in half, lift your hips up and slide your block, maybe the medium height underneath your lower back or the low setting. Don't go super high. So you're just gonna take a little supported back bend here, interlace the hands around that block if you can. Cupping of the shoulder blades. Yeah, I love doing this early on. We're gonna add on from here, so don't get too comfy, comfy but just feel length in the tailbone. It's okay. There's space between the tailbone and the backs of the knees. Anchor the feet. Good. Another big breath in. Good. Lift your right leg up towards the sky. Lift your left leg up towards the sky. We're going to do a little bit of ad work on the block. For some reason, the block doesn't feel good for you. Just remove it. It's just there to kind of give you a little bit of a lift. The hands can come behind the head. So like a little pool raft. Uh-huh. I'm actually going to lower mine. Go on the lowest setting. Try that. Yeah, it's too high. Hands behind the head. Okay. Keep the head down to start. Right leg's going to lower. Yeah, so maybe if you're lower back sensitive, Amy, just go halfway, okay? Right leg lifts. You could just do micro movements. Left leg lowers. Yep. I want you to find that center line of the body. Do this slow. Right leg. Good. Bring it back up. Left leg. Just like that, nice and slow. Now, if you wanna lift the head up, the hands are gonna use that, like kind of give you a little bit of support. So the head is just floating up off the ground and the elbows stay open. Just keep going like that. Mm -hmm. Bring it back up and lower down. What I like about this is it's the core, but it's also elongating the hip flexor and getting the hamstring to lengthen a little. Keep going. Use the breath. Good, we're gonna do a few more. The next time you come up to center, both legs up towards the sky. The right leg will stay up, the left leg will lower. Good, and then you're gonna turn your torso just a little bit to the right. Yep, so the head, hands are behind the head. You just have to lift the head up off the ground. There's a little twist towards the right. Yeah, you got it. Come back to center. Left leg meets right leg. Lower the right leg, and then a little twist to the left. 
That's it. When you're twisting, it's not the neck, it's the core. So the hands stay behind the head. You're just going to lift the right shoulder blade a little up. Right leg lifts back up one more time. Left leg lowers. You're going to take it to the left, uh, to the right, sorry. The left shoulder blade lifts. Come up to center, left leg meets, right leg lowers. Take it over. You got it. Back to center, both legs up. Reach your fingertips towards your toes and lift your shoulder blades up off the ground. Hold. Keep lifting your arms up. Lower your legs on an angle. Reach your arms forward. Hold. Keep the neck neutral. Look towards the sky. Hold here. That's it. Keep lifting the shoulder blades. Keep reaching the arms. You got it. Bend your right knee in half. Keep your left leg on that angle. That's it. Straighten the right leg to meet the left. Bend the left leg. Good. Re-straighten it. Bend the right leg. You got it. So you're on an angle. Straighten it. Left leg bends. Straighten, hold. Feet back down, bridge. Yep, back in the bridge. Perfect. Lift your hips up, move the block out. Lower your tailbone down on the ground. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock and roll a couple times. Cross the ankles, step to your first downward facing dog. Wasn't that fun? Take up a lot of space on the mat this morning. Look at your hands, index fingers are forward. Yeah. Actually do this, okay? Keep your hands the way they are. Walk your feet in a little bit until you get to a short enough downward facing dog that your heels can get down towards the ground, okay? So it's gonna be a little different for everybody. Yeah. Now, breathe your hips way up off your shoulders. Obviously, if you need to soften your knees, please do so. But the idea is here is that you're getting a real nice solid back side of the body stretch. Yeah, so there's a broadening of the shoulder blades. You feel that? Yeah, good. And the same action of events are happening. So the center of your heel really plugs down into the ground. That's it. The outer triceps grip in and the shoulders move away from your ears. Perfect. Two more breaths like that. Walk back out to a, a regular downward facing dog. So the way you normally take it, so a little longer. Yeah. And then roll forward to plank and check in that the alignment from your dog to your plank is set up nicely. Your neck stays neutral, which means you don't want to look in. You don't want to look all the way forward. You just have to find some neutral symmetry there. There's a movement of your shoulders away. So you're plugging away, but you're hugging everything else in. That's it. Feel the hands. Lift the, hip, lift the hips up and back down, dog. Okay, so just like a little ocean wave. That's a good visualization. Come forward, plank. Lead with your chest. Activate your quadriceps. Bring more weight forward. Hips go up and back down, dog. Yep. Again, plank. Move on the breath. Hips go up and back, down dog. That's it. Roll forward, plank. Drop your knees on an angle. Bring your weight forward, lower halfway to a supported push-up. Elbows right by your side body, looks good, lift. Straighten your arms, lift the knees. Plank position, hips go up and back, down dog. Let's move on the breath, roll forward, plank. Drop your knees on an angle. Bring your weight forward a tad, halfway to a push-up. Less is more. Re-straighten, perfect. Lift the knees so you're in plank in one piece. Hips go up and back, down dog. One more time, roll forward, plank. Drop your knees so they're on an angle. Halfway to a push-up, great. Re-straighten, lift the knees, you're in plank. Hips go up and back, down dog. 
Breathe your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Yeah. Come forward, hug your right knee towards your navel. Arms are straight up and down. Look forward with your eyes, step your right foot forward and through, be on your fingertips, pause. Drop your back knee down on an angle. Mm -hmm. Fingertips are down on the ground. Mm -hmm. Crawl your hands onto the top of your right thigh. Yeah. Right hand's gonna stay on the top of the thigh, left arm's gonna reach straight up, and then you're gonna bring it over to the right. I don't need to go very far to feel anything here. I go like about an inch and I start to feel. Yeah. Soften your right shoulder, jo Jody. There you go. So you're using the pressure of your right hand to plug into that right thigh. And then the left side of the body is getting this really nice long stretch. This is the psoas. This is that hip. This is what a lot of us need. TFL, kind of that insertion point. Good. Come up to center. Place both hands down to the ground. Claw the mat with the fingertips. Integrate your back knee. You're in a low lunge. Uh-huh. Once again, crawl the hands up to the top of the thigh. Start to lift your torso. Right hand's going to stay down. Left arm drops. So you're going to sweep it up and bring it over. Same deal. Mm -hmm. Good. So apply a little bit of pressure into that right hand, right thigh. Look at yourself in the mirror. You don't want your whole body dumping towards the right. You want to really elongate and then lengthen. That's it. So it's a subtle movement coming from that back leg. Come up to center, sweep both arms up towards the sky. Bring the hands down to frame your front foot. Just step to a downward facing dog. When you get to down dog, roll forward to plank position. Drop your knees on an angle. Bring your weight forward a tad, lower halfway to a supported push up. Restraighten your arms, lift the knees so you're in plank. Hips go up and back, down dog. Breathe your left leg up and back, three legged down dog. When you lift, you try and lift from your inner thigh. Come forward, hug your left knee and give it a good little squeeze. And then step the left foot all the way forward and through. Be on your fingertips. Good. Drop the back knee down on an angle. Pause for a second. I always check in, like make sure your knee and your ankle are aligned and you're not coming out of alignment. Good. My back toes are curled, but you could relax the foot too. Walk your hands up to the top of the thigh. Pause. You immediately start to feel. Hands press into the left palm's going to stay pressing into that thigh. Keep that connection. Right arm drops alongside the body. And then you sweep it up and, up and out over to the side. It's a small movement, guys. Good. You want to keep applying the pressure of your left palm into the top of that left thigh. And the right arm reaches straight up and just over a little. Soften that left shoulder down your back. Come up to center, bring both arms up for just a sec, feel. Hands to frame that front foot, pause. Fingertips claw the mat, back knee lifts up. You're in a low lunge. Yep, walk your hands to the top of the thigh, start to crawl. The left hand's gonna stay pressing into that thigh hip area. The right arm drops down and you stretch it out and up. And then you, as you stretch up, you start to bring it over just a little bit. Yeah, so you're getting this sideline stretch. Perfect. Soften that left shoulder. Looks good. You look super happy. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're about to have an operation in here. Yeah, some sort of operation is going to happen. Yeah. I'm not feeling very serious, so you should not, you know, fear. Come up to center. Bring both arms up towards the sky. It just kind of evens it out. Perfect. Bring the hands down to frame the front foot. Step to a down dog. Yeah, downward facing dog. Roll forward to a plank. Halfway to a push up. Drop your knees if you like those better. The up dog is smooth. Press even through your hands, the tops of the feet. Baby cobra is a great option. Slide your hands down a little closer towards you for baby cobra. There you go. Perfect. Hips go up and back, down dog. So if you're nursing an injury, something doesn't feel good in your body, you subtract the back bends, you subtract the push-ups, you add more if you're feeling super energized. It's your practice, make this work. The arms stay very straight. Look to the top of the mat. You're gonna step, step for this first one to get there nice and light, even if you're feeling really excited. Long spine, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer at the top of the mat, drop your arms. 
All right, here we go. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine. Step, step to plank. Halfway to a push up. Up dog is pulling you through your body or baby cobra. Hips go up and back, down dog. Plug down, arms are active. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Long spine. Yeah, it is, right? Fold. I had two hours of music for today's class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Roots arise. I got a little carried away. Yeah. Drag it to prayer. Sometimes there's like 27 minutes of music and then sometimes I have two hours. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. It's a mystery now. Long spine. Step, step, or float. If you're going to float, you have to land with bent elbows. Up dog is smooth. Hips go up and back, down dog. Yeah, don't take yourself so seriously. Just kind of have a light, effortless practice. No pressure. Arms are straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Long spine. Fold. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms from the top. Just keep moving like that. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees. Forward fold. Long spine to set you up. You can step. You can float. Pull yourself through an up dog. Looks great. Hips go up and back down dog. Each one gets a little better. Arms are active. Look where you want to go. Step or float. Top of mat. Long spine. Fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Nice, arms go straight up. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine to prepare, step or float through your vinyasa. Nice and light. Up dog is smooth, you wanna press even, that looks great. Hips go up and back, down dog. Breathe your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Let's bend the knee today and open the hip. So. When you do this, there's two ways to do it. If you know your back is sensitive and like literally opening your right hip towards my voice over here doesn't feel good, just keep everything very neutral. That's totally fine. If you can fan your right thigh a little bit more open, yeah, flex your foot. The trick though is that your shoulders and your arms stay very even. Perfect. Square it off, come forward. Hug your right knee straight in towards your navel and give it a nice little squeeze. Look forward with your eyes and step your right foot forward and through. Good. Keep your fingertips down for just a beat. Turn your back foot on a sharp angle. Yeah. Bring your arms alongside your body and hub over your right thigh. So when you're here in this first warrior, you're staying low. Palms stay down. So just pay attention to the lower half of the body. You want to scoop your right hip kind of under you and activate your left leg so it's steering forward. The left ribs pivot forward. Then you rise, first warrior. You start to bring your torso up. Your arms can go out and up or straight up. Yeah, and you kind of kind of have to find your distance with your feet. Sometimes you need to make a little tweak when you come up. Yeah, side ribs have enough room to turn. That would be your left ribs. That's it. Hands to frame your front foot. You decide what you need here. Push-ups, maybe yes, maybe no. The up dog, up to you. Cobra is there if you need it. Hips go up and back, down dog. Perfect. The left leg lifts straight up. Yeah, so as you breathe that left leg up and back, then you bend your knee and you start to open up your hip. Now, maybe you keep things more neutral and you just feel that front thigh bone getting that stretch. Maybe you're open to fan it open a little more. Square it off. Keep the arms active and straight. Come forward, hug your left knee straight and give it a good little squeeze. Look forward with your eyes, step your left foot all the way forward. Come to your fingertips. Before you go, guys, walk the left foot just a tad to the left. Yeah, then turn your back foot on a sharp angle. The second you do that, I know for myself, my left hip just popped out. Bring the arms alongside the body and steer the left hip kind of under you. Use the outer blade of your back right foot to really press, ground, contract the quadricep. Then rise, first warrior. And when you come up, you have to make little adjustments. Maybe it needs to be longer, wider. 
The right ribs now have room to pivot forward. That's it. And you just allow your feet to really feel the ground. Neck is neutral. This is great. Hands to frame your front foot. You pick. Chaturanga push up if you're feeling it. Up dog if you've got that movement through your body. Hips go up and back. Downward facing dog. Great. We'll put it all together. Arms are straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float to the top of the mat. Long spine when you arrive, fold in half. Find your first chair pose. Feet together or a little separated, totally up to you. The idea is to have your arms straight though. Your chair. What do you need, Amy? Oh. Don't forward fold. Press to stand, drag it to prayer. And then, yeah, everyone press to stand, drag it to prayer. Let's, let's try this together. So rather than doing a vinyasa, just step back, warrior one. Bring your arms up. Then take it to the chaturanga. Try it. Everybody do it. Top of mat. Yeah, we'll pretend we have back pain. Arms go straight up. Step your left foot back, everybody. Step the left foot back. First warrior. Keep the arms active. Good, step to the top of the mat. Step the right leg back, first warrior. I would just move like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then yeah, you'll just step up and you'll wait for everybody and you'll hold. You'll sit into chair and hold. All right, chair pose. Just, you can. Yeah, just, yeah, just, just get down. Fold over the legs, everybody but Amy. Long spine to prepare. Step or float through your vinyasa. Or you can have the blocks up really high to kind of help you. Yep. Right foot forward, back foot turns, warrior one, from the back of the mat, if, you, if there's any confusion here. Yeah. Hands to frame your front foot, vinyasa of choice. The left foot lands, the back foot turns, keep moving and breathing. Warrior one, left side. Hands to the, the floor, chaturanga push-up. So much of injury is figuring out what you, what, you, what you can do, not what you can't do. So let's focus on that. There's plenty you can do. So it's just kind of, it may not look like everyone else's. And that's fine. Arms are straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Long spine, fold. Chair pose. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer. Drop your arms, reset, here we go. From the top, arms go straight up. Regular version of this chair pose. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. There you go, keep the blocks even higher. Long spine, set it up. Step or float through your vinyasa. Up dog pulls you through. Hips go up and back, down dog. Just moving and breathing, right foot forward. Just getting out of your own way. Hands to frame your front foot, chaturanga push-up. Up dog, get your mojo, downward facing. The left foot lands, the back foot turns, just moving and breathing. Hands to frame your front foot, chaturanga push-up. Upward facing, smooth operation. Hips go up and back, down dog, breathe. We're gonna do one more, so let's just get it together right here. Yeah, they're looking great. Arms are straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Get their light. Long spine. Fold. Chair pose. Press up to stand up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. From the top, arms go straight up. Heavy in your heels for your version of chair. Dive over bent knees. Forward fold. Let your head go. Long spine to set it up. Step or float through your vinyasa. Up dog is smooth. Hips go up and back, down dog. Right foot forward, back foot turns. Rise, warrior one. To the floor you go, chaturanga. 
is moving. Up dog is smooth, press even. Hips go up and back, down dog. Left foot lands, back foot turns. Anchor and rise. To the floor we go through your version of vinyasa. vinyasa. Everyone looks different. So that's, that's the cool part about this stuff. No two bodies are the same. Yeah. Down dog, just hold. Lift your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Ready to have some fun? Come forward to plank and take your right knee to the back of your right tricep. Take it to the center, straight to the center. You thought I forgot, Jody. Yeah, I'm still here. Still hanging out. Look forward with your eyes. Step your right foot smack. Okay, stay on your fingertips, guys. Don't come up. You're gonna turn your back foot on a sharp angle. Set your feet up for warrior two. Don't come up. Take your block to the outside of your right foot. Me personally, I put mine on the highest setting available. Sometimes even need two. Use the block, so you're setting up for a variation of extended side angle, which is the outside of your foot. I love this transition, yeah. It's a great transition because it really works the hips. And then the left arm peels open, we good. So there's a hugging in of your right hip and a turning of your right ribs. The left arm straight up or it can come up and over. Fabulous, stay with it. Pay attention to your right shoulder, your right elbow, your right wrist. Yeah, that everything stays kind of light. Yeah. The energy of that left side is really stretching out and over. Couple more breaths. Eyes to the floor, left hand's gonna come down. Your left heel will pop up. We're gonna crisscross the feet at the top of the mat. The right foot will stay where it is. The left foot will come in front of it. Yeah. I like the block nearby, be careful. Stay high on the block. Yeah. This is an amazing transition. Uh-huh. Long spine on the inhale, exhale fold. Because I was trying to target the whole sideline of the body, which starts to get a little cranky this time of year. I think that, you know, if you drive in your car a lot or sit in a chair, yeah, you can creep your hands a little to the right, only if that feels good. And focus on keeping your weight forward. That's it. Keep your knees as bent as you need. No one cares. All right, walk it back to center. Pause. So from here, we're gonna go into Ardhan Chandras and a half moon. So you'll need that right block enough over that to the right with that right foot. You'll ground your right foot to lift switch hand, regular Arda, and you'll just unravel. It's also a fun transition. And this is like a big yawn. Arda is like a big yawn. Focus on your right foot, keeping that foot forward. Spark up the left toes. If there's anything that you want to add, you like to bind in this pose, you like to work on balance, now would be the time to kind of explore that. Sometimes it's most basic form is just what we need. So you've determined. Sometimes the balance isn't there. It's okay. Keep your focus on one spot. Roll the right side of the body towards the sky. Breathe that left leg open. Couple more. Regular art if you added any embellishments. Listen carefully. Giant step back to warrior two. Sometimes you need to make two steps to get there. Warrior two. Nice big yummy stance. Yeah, roll your right thigh open. The left arm gets lazy in the pose, yeah. And we start to like lunge into it. So see if you can find some symmetry here. Roll that right thigh open. Mm -hmm. 
Lengthen your tailbone. Connect to your breath. Settle in. We're staying a little longer. It's just a feeling. It's like riding a wave. You collect energy in the pose. So where are you collecting it? Circle it to the floor, vinyasa. Yeah. Up dog will feel good. Hips up and back, down dog. Breathe the left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. That's it. Come forward to plank and just drag your left knee to the back of the left tricep. Try to keep the hips aligned. Drag it to center. You're doing awesome. Right into the center. Look forward with your eyes. Step your left foot smack in between. Be on your fingertips. Don't come up. Yes. Turn your back right foot on a sharp angle. Grab your block. Place it to the outside of your left foot. I, I go high to start. Grip your left hip under you, turn your left ribs, and then peel your right arm open. Everyone's alignment looks splendid. Yeah, I normally have to go around and fix the back foot, but this, this group looks good. If your right arm is reaching up and you're able to bring it up and forward, give it a whirl. Doesn't always work for both sides of the body. Yeah, the left hip gets sleepy, so grip it under you and keep turning those ribs. That's it, breathe. Watch the left shoulder, make sure it's not turning in. Reconnect with your breath if you're starting to feel like I, I need to bail. Three more breaths. Eyes to the floor, right hand comes down. Right heel will automatically need to pop up, okay? You're gonna slide your right foot in front of your left foot at the top of the mat. So the right foot crosses in front of the left foot. The baby toes come together, yeah. Use the blocks, lift yourself up. You're gonna go straight down the center and fold. Yeah, if you wanna creep a little to the left, you're welcome to. Yeah, let your head go. Bend your knees a lot if you're struggling, yeah. There's one side that's always worse than the other. I think this side is worse than the majority of you. Yeah. Yeah. Come back to center. Take your time with this transition, okay? Find your block. We're gonna do Ardhan Chandrasana. Your left foot is the grounded foot. Yeah, so set it up enough with the block. Make sure the left foot stays forward and do it slow. Right hand may need to come to your right hip to start. And then it's like yawning yourself open. Yeah, I like to fist my hand too. I get out of my shoulder that way or come to the fingertips. Flex your top foot, take your bottom ribs. And then anything you want to add, maybe it's not an adding type of day, maybe it's a subtracting type of day. Right, there's no judgment. So just put in what feels good. And then always come back to your breath. Grip your left hip in, keep that left foot forward. Release any embellishments. Take a giant step back, warrior two. Maybe two or three steps to get you there, which is totally fine. Just look down at your feet, set it up. Great, left knee tracks over left ankle. You roll your left thigh open. You spread your arms open nice and wide. These are great. Shoulders drop down the back. There's a lengthening of your tailbone. You're doing great with this today. Yeah. Which is not natural for a lot of people. Right. If you've done like a lot of bar and that kind of stuff, they do the opposite. So your brain automatically goes to the opposite. Close your eyes, go inward and just be here for a few breaths.
how can you let go and challenge yourself the same in the same way in the pose? It is possible. So give what you need, get what you need, and be present. Three more. Hands to your hips, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in, uh-huh. From your right hip, turn your right toes out towards my voice. Yep. Turn your back toes a little in on an angle. Open up your arms nice and wide. Now pick your distance for triangle. Try not to use the block today. Yep. We automatically go there. Yep. So if, you're, if you can't go down low, you're going to stay up high. That's it. Anywhere across the front of that right chin. Of course, if you need it, you use it. I'm just giving you suggestions just to try things a little different. There's a little bit of a leaning back. The left arm spreads open nice and wide. We look sideways, we look up. A series of triangles happening in the body. Use the top arm, let it pull you up. Uh-huh. Arms stay straight. Keep them powerful and open. Turn your right toes in. Turn your left toes out. Turn your back foot on a little angle. Pick your distance. Triangle, left leg. Yeah, if you need the block, you use the block. If not, anywhere across the front of the shin, even if it's up super high, like I've had days that I'm super tight and my hand is just on the top of my thigh and I'm just working on elongation. Yeah. The idea of less is really more. It's hard for a lot of us. Yeah. Zip up the side of your body. Yeah. Couple more breaths. Eyes to the floor, circle it to the ground. You're gonna hit a plank and lean on your right hand for your favorite version of side plank. Right palm will stay down. You can also drop to your right knee if you need a little extra support. Is this okay? Any version that you know you can hold and maintain. Yeah, you could try the tree. If it doesn't work, you bag it. It's a good place to try little things. The little thing's different. Yeah, and if it doesn't work, you just don't do it. Plank position. Go right to the other side while you're kind of in the side planky mode. Yeah. Stack the feet. You can stagger the feet. The idea is that the two hips are aligned, though. So the nature is that right hip kind of wants to roll open. So sometimes it's helpful to have the right foot in front. Yep. Chris and I like our little, it's a good option. You got to find what works, everyone. Breathe. Two more breaths. You got this. Right hand to the floor. Listen carefully. Lower your knees, your chest, your chin. You're going to sliver forward to a baby cobra. Yeah. Baby cobra. Perfect. You're going to reach back with your arms, clasp your hands behind your back. Keep the neck neutral. Take a giant breath in. On the exhale breath, you're going to lift everything up. Yeah, lift everything up. So when I say lift everything up, you may not get up very much. So, you know, but be okay with that. Exhale the breath, lower down. Slide your hands to your lower, lower ribs. Press to a child's pose. Yep. Hips go up and back, down dog. If you need an extra breath in child, you take it. Jess is like, I'm staying here for the entire rest of the class. Yep. It's a reset. It's a very quick reset. <laughs> very, very quick. We got stuff to do. Okay, here we go, guys. You're going to step your right foot forward into a low lunge. Don't come up. If you need a block for easy twists, please use it. Take the block to the instep of the hand, uh, end step of the right foot and peel open. This is another one. Be careful. Right hand on the flat part of your back. Keep, yeah. Even if you feel like you can go more. Anything with twisting. I mean, you can always feel like you can do more. It's so annoying. 
the aging process sucks. It's very frustrating, but keep reminding yourself there's plenty you're doing. So don't let anyone tell you that. I will t be here to tell you. I'm your best cheerleader. Okay, we are going to step into, up into revolved Arden Sandrasana. So look to the floor. Uh-huh. Your right hand can stay on the flat part of your back. You can take twisting triangles and alternative. If this does not feel good in your body, I will, you know, totally support that. Yeah, but give it a whirl. Great. What I try to do sometimes here is point the toe, and that gives me a little more lift. If you're able to peel your right arm open, give it a, give it a, a whirl. If not, don't worry about it. Soften behind that standing front leg. Lift from the inner thigh. Look sideways, look up, try not to look back. Couple more breaths. Right hand down, feet together, top of mat. Long spine, fold, chair pose. Drag it to prayer. Inhale the breath. Hook and twist towards the right. Yep, go in the same direction. Yep, air twist is good. Air twisting is harder. And then I've had days, just so you know, Amy, that I've had to sit on the block and take it totally seated. It was a bad day. <laughs> it was a really bad day. <laughs> Like this. It's still hard. I was having a rough one. I needed to be close to the floor. Good. You got it. Watch your two hips and your knees, guys. Weights in your heels. Chair pose. Pull it around. Shoot up to stand up. Keep your arms up for a sec. Drop your right arm down alongside your body. Stretch up and take it over towards the right. Good, pull up to center, bring right arm up. Elongate, right arm stays up, left arm slides, stretch up and over. From your core muscles, pull to center, arms stay up. Right leg lifts, 90 degree angle. Left hand comes to the outside of the right thigh, will continue to go the same direction and peel the right arm back, that's it. You can do this by grabbing the outer part of that foot for dancing Shiva, which is kind of the next step. But the most, most important is that the standing left leg is straight. The leg that's moving forward can have as much bend as you need. You also want to stay really elevated in that spine, not lean forward, not lean back. Pull around to center, arms up, leg up. You can do this with a 90 degree angle. You got it. Warrior three, arms back alongside your body, hands in prayer. It's just kind of a transition. So start to bend the left leg, guys, a little bit. And then when you step back, have the fingertips down on the ground, you're in a low lunge. Yep, so the left leg is forward, the right leg is back. Pause. Set up your feet so they're, they're right for you. Liz, walk your left foot a little to the left. Right hand down, use a block, left arm peels. We go to the other side. Yeah. You can be really high with the block. Yeah, use the block. Perfect. You're in an easy twist on your left leg. Make looks good. Reconnecting with your body, your breath, your mind. Grip your left hip in. So we're going to step up into revolved arm. Slide your left hand, everybody, to the flat part of your back, and then use that block and move it forward enough that you can kind of bounce up. Revolve triangle, twisting triangle as an alternative. You got it. If that back leg, that would be your right leg, feels a little snaggy today, you can point your right toes and see if that helps kind of activate. Yeah, Jess, it looks good. Hug the hips in. Activate the legs, twist open. Good. 
Left hand to the floor, feet together. Long spine, stay with it. Exhale, fold, let it go. Find your chair, weights in your heels. And if you're having a bad day, you're welcome to sit. Yeah, drag your hands to prayer. Inhale your breath, you'll hook and twist towards the left. Right, the right elbow will hook to the outside of the thigh or just start to turn. Weights in your heels. So this side, you have a little glimpse of yourself. Don't get scared. Be happy. Check your hips, your knees, your feet. Make sure they're aligning like the shape of a box. The right side has, a, has the tendency to kind of swing forward. Looks good, Julie. You got it. Anything you want to do? Last three breaths. Chair pose. Pull it around. Press up to stand up, keep your arms up. Drop your left arm down alongside your body. Stretch up and take it over to the left. Yeah, so the left hand kind of slides down and you can really like root and lengthen. Deep from in your core muscles, pull it up, the left arm join. The left arm stays up, the right arm slides down the side of that right leg, stretch up and over. Make sure the left, the right shoulder isn't steering back, it's coming forward and you're coming up out of your waist. From your deep core muscles, come up to center, both arms up. Stand on your uh, left leg and stand on your right leg, sorry, and draw your left leg up, right leg. Standing on your right leg, left leg draws back. Right hand to the outside of that left thigh, left arm peels back, dancing Shiva. Dancing Shiva. This is a great song. Standing on that right leg. Yep, looking sideways. This time you can look back. Two more. Pull around to center, arms up, leg up. Your leg can be bent in half if you want. Briefly through warrior three, arms swing back, hands can come to prayer, hands can rest on the block. You're softening your right knee enough. Yeah. Start to pay attention to that right leg. Bend it enough, fingertips to the ground. Come back, low lunge, right side. Yeah. So arrange your feet. Sometimes when we step back, we get a little sloppy. Your right foot and your left foot about hip distance. Good. Integrate your legs and then rise, high lunge. Last standing pose here. Yeah. High lunge. Drag your hands to prayer. Inhale your breath. You'll hook and twist or air twist. Hook your right hip in and bring more weight forward. So you want the ball of your back foot. You really want to be high on the ball of your back foot. There you go. I know. It's like your back leg is in a plank. There's a little lean back action. Open up your arms if you want more or just stay. You can always modify by dropping the knee or tenting the left fingertip to the ground. Both hands to frame your front foot, plank position. Halfway to a push up. Peel yourself through a really nice up dog, enjoy it. Hips go up and back down dog. Step the left foot forward, low lunge. Set up your feet first before you just bounce up. Rise, high lunge, crescent lunge. Modify if you need by dropping your back knee, it's not a problem at all. Drag your hands to prayer. Inhale your breath. The trick with this pose is to lean forward enough, then hook and twist or air twist. Or sit down. Your left hip, grip it in. Your back right leg, that's perfect. Now we're really high on the ball of that back foot. There's a little lean back action. Stay with it. Couple more breaths. Hands to frame your front foot, plank. When you get the plank, drop to your forearms. Forearm plank, yeah. You can have your hands under your shoulders. 
You can interlace the hands. Yeah, you're in a forearm plank. Neck is neutral. Walk up into a dolphin. So basically just short shortening the stance, tightening the stance. Yeah. Breathe your right leg up and back if you can. Lower the right leg down. Round and then lift your left leg up. Good job. Lower it down. Hold five more breaths. Stay active in something. Five more breaths. Awesome job. To get out of the pose, one hand at a time, I want you to press to your down dog. Yes. Yes. Downward facing dog. Swing your right knee forward, half pigeon. Yeah, it feels so good. Half pigeon. Yeah, mouth into it. Yeah, if you need to go on your back or take another variation of this, please do. Let me know if you need a suggestion. Yeah, you can always flip around if you're near a wall and use the wall for this foot. That foot could press into the wall if you wanted more or change it. I want to stretch everyone's so as is so we got a little space in here. So come up for a sec, guys. Keep your right leg where it is. So you're going to take your left leg and bend it like this. It's kind of like a half frog. Yeah, so it looks like this. You have to play a little for your own body. So you could first lean back a little on an angle, and that's going to get right in here. Yep. Yeah, I had a feeling we needed this. Yeah. Obviously in time, you can, you can come more back onto your forearms. If you just had a sudden back issue, don't do that. Just stay up. Okay, yeah. Liz is young. She's young. Yeah, pull yourself up and you're gonna go the opposite direction. So on an angle, you kind of creep. Cause this gets now the right hip. There you go. You got to play with this a little, but this is a good one. Kristen, you feel it? No, you might have to like move a little. Okay. See, it's funny. I feel more on my left side going back and my right side going forward. Yeah. Good, come up to center, swing the left leg back behind you, step to a down dog, and then you'll go into the other side. First regular half pigeon. Yeah, first get the hip that normal way. And then we'll add in the other little funky stuff to kind of open it up. Yep. I had a lot of covers today. Is another one. Five more breaths.
good. So we'll come up and we'll just explore a little. So you'll come up, the left leg stays as it is. The right leg kind of bends like it's in a half frog, which is a horrible pose I'm not gonna do. And then you start to go back. Now you kind of have to play. Can you go back a little on an angle? Right, maybe you can lean all the way back. Yeah. Let me make it look easy. Pull the torso up and then you're gonna go the opposite direction. You kind of have to creep. Maybe a little left, down the center. Find something that works. Yeah. Come up nice and slow. Now you'll just swing your right leg around, left leg forward. Both legs go forward, arms go straight up towards the sky. Inhale the breath, exhale, come down and forward. If your hands don't meet your feet, don't sweat it. You just kind of crawl the hands forward. If you're able to grab the feet, fold. Cowl's great. Good, vertebrae by vertebrae, you're gonna roll onto your backs. You're gonna set up for one big badass back bend. So now your bad, bad, big badass background, say that 15 times, talk about a tongue twister. Right, could be just something very supported and easy, okay? Not easy in the sense easy to do, just kind of like easy, chill. Or you can go for a full wheel if you're feeling empowered, flip your palms. You could slide a block underneath your low back and just lift your legs. So I need you to just find something for about six to eight breaths Yep, kind of like a free style. You can do what you want. Good, you're about halfway there. And if you went up into a full wheel, you start to come down. If your legs are just straight up, you can stay for a couple extra beats. If you're just in a regular bridge, you'll lower down. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Give them a big squeeze. And then let's extend the left leg forward and hug the right knee And That's how we started. Mm -hmm. Hug it in nice and tight. Come down slow. Take your time. Take the right leg over towards the left for supine twist. So we started with this. Body should feel totally better. Come up to center, relax the right leg, hug the left knee in, yeah. Give it a good little squeeze and take it over towards the right, supine twist. Come up to center and find your way now into Shavasana. Complete rest. Complete rest, nothing to do, nowhere to go. Two minutes for yourself. It's a master pose. It's the hardest one I know. Let the jaw go.
Deep breath in. Full breath out. Arms reach over, over the top of the head, full body stretch. Hug the knees in towards the chest, give them a big squeeze. And rock yourself up however it suits you. <laughs> 